Hey, what's up guy, Tim D back in the building doing the TMD crime reports in association with uh, Tokyo Reporter check out the link in the description here's my neighbour I think nah but anyway let's uh, let, let's uh, kick off with this one <sighs> despicable crimes man soccer coach accused of molesting woman in Adachi Adachi Ku is kind of like the area it's around Weno Sakusa district Tokyo Metro Politan Police have arrested a 26 year old man over the alleged, alleged molestation of a woman in Adachi ward reports TV Asahi October 21st in August uh, Akihito Asano came up from behind the woman, aged in her 20s, young, vulnerable, per usual, as she uh, commuted home on a road and jumped on top of her, pinning her to the ground. The suspect then allegedly fondled the woman's body. She suffered unspecified injuries in the incident, the police said. Upon his arrest, Asano denied the allegations. I do not have a full recollection of the matter. The suspect was quoted by the police. Asano is a part-time soccer coach for boys in Edogawa Ward. Prior to the incident, he followed the woman over a distance of around 400 meters from a railway station. When the woman noticed that she was being followed, she attempted to flee. However, the suspect caught her from behind. <sighs> like I said, guys, uh, in my last video that I'm going to upload, Japan is not a safe country sometimes, and women are very vulnerable. Um, you know, I, I honestly think that women need to have uh, pepper spray out here, you know. I think... Uh, Women are very vulnerable, especially when they have like stations that are um, kind of, you know, like off key, as in bad street lighting, dark. People are not as, uh, you know, as, as busy on the streets as it was because we're all on COVID and lockdown shit and people are tally working I don't know how they caught this guy it must be through surveillance but it's not an uncommon um, crime happens a lot over here I um, just hope the young lady's uh, is doing okay I mean obviously she's gonna be um, obviously traumatized by this vile incident and I hope they, uh, they put the uh, book on him in my eyes he's a dirty little scumbag a young man if he does time does his jail you know maybe it'll teach him a lesson but obviously my thoughts go out to the young lady involved and uh, we shall see how that case goes on next crime man suspected of murdering his girlfriend told wife about crime before his suicide holy shit Gunma which is just outside like kind of in the middle of Japan a 36 year old man who is suspected of murdering his girlfriend in Tagasaki City has said told his wife that he committed the crime before he died in, in an apparent suicide Police have revealed reports from uh, TBS News, October 21st. At around 7 p.m. on Sunday, the man is to believe to have fatally stabbed Kanako Ozawa, 30 years old, inside a vehicle parked about 700 meters from the JR Takasaki station. Sad shit, man. At around 7.30 on Sunday, the man is 
oh sorry i'm repeating that about two and a half hours later he arrived home to his wife and two children in matsudo city chiba prefecture <sighs> guys it's literally just there this guy this murderer our alleged murderer lives 10 minutes by train I could probably walk there in about an hour or less Wow a distance of around 130 kilometers from Takasaki according to the police he told his wife I stabbed a woman and I also want to die no shit man crazy motherfucker after speaking with his wife he left the residence he then entered a hotel in Chiba City that's where my wife works where he's believed to have killed himself his body was found on Monday police said previously he said I'm sorry Ozawa was a company employee living in Niigata City, Niigata Prefecture. She met the man through work. <coughs> Dodgy! On four occasions in June, she consulted with the Niigata Higashi Police Station about problems regarding the man. Stalker! The latest uh, revelations by the police contradict what the man's wife had previously told multiple news networks during the interviews with her. According to the next works, he only apologised to her. I'm sorry, he reportedly said. Police said that they believed the man used the Shinkansen, which is the bullet train, and other trains to travel home after the incident. He also is believed to have changed his clothes after commu committing the crime. Police are planning to send papers on the man to prosecutors on the suspicion of murder that's pretty fucking gnarly man actually um as i contacted tokyo reporter yesterday um i was actually telling them about how weird it was that you know where i live here right now there are really mad crimes and because i don't watch japanese tv or local news i don't know what the fuck's going on in japan hence why tokyo reporter are, are covering these articles covering japanese news being translated into english which is great you know <coughs> um th this is kind of a deep one because um uh, as you know you know Japan has a, a very high suicide rate out here and people commit suicide for a, a multitude of reasons um, uh, but there are a lot of these cases where um, murderers decide to pull the suicide shit on them you know so Obviously, my heart goes out to the, the family members of that young girl. She was murdered. And there's only one thing, man, for this guy. It's just uh, a sad, sad, sad story. But hey, apparently Japan is safe, right? I'll keep, I'll keep saying that. Next story. Here we go, this is white collar crime thing. Medical treatment company accused of tax evasion. Tokyo. A special investigative unit of the Tokyo District Public Prosecutor's Office uh, has arrested the former president of medical treatment consulting company of suspicion of tax evasion, reports Fuji News Network. October 21st. Over a three-year period through 2018, uh, Takayi Kodama, uh, then the president of Kodama Medical, 
based in the Toshima ward, allegedly concealed about 100 million yen income in the evading of, are you ready? 32 million yen, that's a lot of fucking money in corporate taxes, fucking hell. To give you an idea of 32 million, <coughs> um, a basic wage for a foreigner is about 3 million yen a year. So that guy has been doing tax evasion for, of the amount of 30, was it 32? 32 million yen. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. If he gets caught for this shit, bro. Woo! Called them a 65. 65, damn, man. Carried out the, the ruse by establishing fictitious advertising expenses at another company managed by a 63-year-old, uh, Mr. Kiyoshi Kaneko, 52-year-old, Hiroyuki Ogata, and one other person. God damn, man! This boy, white collar crime. Uh, Kodama then funneled a portion of the claimed expenses to Kanako, Ogata san, and the third person, all of whom were all arrested. The transactions were just Kodama quoted in denying the allegations. According to prosecutors, Kodama used the concealed income on personal expenses. Let me get into this story, yeah? Boy, there are a lot of mad crimes out here, especially related to white collar crime. White collar, if you don't know what that is, are crimes committed by people that are like doing fraud and tax evasion and all that shit. Um, obviously this guy's been caught, you know, Probably he's gonna get all the investigated, all that shit. White collar crime probably happens quite a lot out in Japan, man. Um, people are really sneaky out here. And I'll give you an instance, not that it's white collar crime, but for example, a lot of companies out here, <coughs> they have a main company right then they have subsidiary companies that channel off from the main company and it's all to do with like and a lot of foreigners work for these fucking companies right which is uh which is really unavoidable so it's a, just a way that if the company let's say it's an english school right the company falls, it goes bankrupt. They put all the, they take all the money out, whatever. They fucking do all weird shit. So it doesn't affect the other, the other businesses. That's what happens, man. I'm not saying that they're doing illegal things by all means, but I mean, it's just a way of like shifting stuff around. Um. Obviously, fraud and stealing money from the company isn't a cool thing, but I think if you're going to do those type of crimes, you can't be leaving any trails, any evidence, right? And it's kind of difficult to do that, you know? We're being watched 24-7, bro, you know? We're being watched all the time. CCTV cameras, email, everything is being tracked. You know, you type shit on a computer, there's tracking systems for that. It's mad. You can't get away with shit like that anymore. But let's see what happens to that guy. Right, next story, guys. Quick fire round. Here we go, here we go. Lawmaker Akihiro Atsushika to resign after non-prosecution for sexual assault. Here we go. It's always these dirty men 
What the fuck is that? Anybody want to buy a, a a bed? Is that for an ambulance? Mad. Little tobacco stand there. Yeah, by the way, we still have uh, tobacco stands here. Machines, vending machines. This must be a, a liquor shop, yeah? Tobacco. Cool, man. Let's get back to this dirty sex pet skeezer. Akihiro Hatsushika, member of the House of Representatives. So this geezer is part of like Parliament. Has chosen to resign <laughs> following his non-prosecution over the alleged sexual assault of a woman five years ago, reports TV Asahi. On Tuesday night, Hatsushika, a 50-year-old member of the main opposition constitutional democrat party of japan revealed to supporters that he will resign on october 26 that's next week in may of 2015 the lawmaker is alleged to have committed acts deemed obscene with a woman inside a taxi yeah. a report on the incident appeared in the weekly tabloid shukan bunshin two years later last december police sent Hatsushika to prosecutors over the incident. At that time, he denied the, he denied the allegations. Last month, prosecutors with the Tokyo District Public Prosecutor's Office did not prosecute um, this guy. At that time of the incident, uh, he was a member of the Ishi, Ishinoto Japanese Innovation Party, which is now defunct. D -d 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 defunct, defunct, defunct. Yeah. <laughs> he currently is serving his third term for the House of Representatives. Again, you know when when I do these TMD crime updates for you guys and letting you letting you guys know what crimes are being committed here on a daily basis. By the way, I have to do a bit of a goddamn crows, man. Um, I've got such a backlog of these videos to do so I'm going to try and pick out some cool ones to talk about but uh, sexual assaults on women out here are probably probably one of the highest of the crimes committed out here and it's such a weird thing to talk about because and I'm going to get into some deep deep chatter now you know and I think what it is oh look at that spider is that this country lives in a very repressed stressed out kind of environment where um Basically, little hoikwen kids. Um, where the men are just stressed the fuck out. Their work is killing them. Um, their wives don't talk to them anymore. Um, they they are bombarded with images of like little Japanese kawaii fucking little schoolgirls wearing fucking short skirts and you know it's it's i'm trying to uh do this from the the other side and how japanese men think and it's it's a reflection how you gozaimasu ogenki desu ka yoes subarashii desu ne uh, uh, so no, no. So, uh, see, we're old people, very cool. Um, yeah, the, the, the Japanese men are so repressed, man. And I'm not saying what they do is right, it's wrong, of course it is. But I think due to the high influx of these sexual crimes, it, you've got to look at it on the bigger picture, man. 
There's a reason what that's a lady driver there. Um yeah, she's um she's cool. So basically um th th there's a reason why these men do this. Is it work? Is it the stresses and strains of Japan? Paying a mortgage, paying the bills, having kids, sending them to like private schools. They feel ghosted, man. And I think these men just like, just like a little bit of slap and tickle, if you know what I mean. Um, going back through history, um, the, the Japanese are really big into that, all that kinky shit, you know? They're really into it. It goes back way in their history where like women are subservient, men are the boss, you know, woman gets, woman gets touched, oh look at this garden man, beautiful, yeah I actually know this garden, this person's really into like gardening, beautiful. Uh, going back, yeah, so Japan is like a country where it's just so steeped in history, it still has that essence of its culture, its history, and I think like the modern age that we're living in now, things are fucking changing, man, and especially when it comes down to like women's rights which i'm all for actually man i i hope that women can earn more money i hope women can be more in charge and hey do you know what one day they might even be a, a prime minister that's a woman the cops there. what's this cop doing man bomba clot uh Matsudo board there. Dominoes. <coughs> so um there's a there's a lot of factors that I'm not really like you know I haven't written a thesis on this shit like you know but I'm just giving you an account of how I feel about it. And I think women now need to be a little bit stronger, you know? I think they need to have their position. Women shouldn't be t treated as uh, as sex slaves and, you know. I'll, I'll give you an instance, right? Um, when When I was single, yeah? And this is for you guys that want to come out here and uh, if you want to chat to girls out here or you want to, you know, date Japanese women, is that it's really hard to approach women out here. One is you're a foreigner. Two is you're a man and you're, most foreigners are kind of big guys, you know the Japanese find this a little bit intimidating you try and talk to a woman bro they, they'll run a mile they run a mile they don't want to talk to you they're scared and all you want to do is fucking talk to a woman like back home in England you might get a chick that wants to talk or strike up a, a bit of a conversation or whatever how can i get your number or you can't do that out here because of these j guys fucking it up for everybody else because it's just they're just creepoids you know this is there's probably i have about probably over a probably over five hundred thousand 
cases that I could I could report on about this. Thousands of cases. Too much for me to talk about. But you kind of get the general gist of what's going on. So it's another warm autumnal day over here. <coughs> uh, this is another thing that uh, really annoys me is uh, this is about five meters. I've got to wait like a minute. I don't get that. Don't know if you can see any. Oh, there you go. Some turtles are down there. As you can see there. Some turtles in there. We'll do a bit of a morning walk. Oh, yeah. oh good morning, sir. What the hell, man? What's... <laughs> I've just noticed something really funny. What the fuck? So I'm going to show you guys the place where I normally eat out. And they've got a big sign above it. What the hell? Holy shit, man. Woman on a phone. Uh, yeah, that's another thing I could uh, talk about. Are people using fucking phones? What? Honey Queen, what the fuck's course I'm doing? Strange. Ah, it's up there. Honey Queen, second floor. Weird. And this place here, well, um, I'll let you guys imagine what kind of place that is. Uh, involves a certain massaging technique that is uh, performed on on men that um, could lead to like uh, an eruption that makes sense I don't want to talk about it too much in case uh, the yaks fucking find this video and you know chop me up and bury me in a fucking forest somewhere that's why I used to live down there guys a really nice day it's, a, it's actually quite a very warm October we're having looking back at previous pictures on memories very warm
10 piece sets they're everywhere everywhere in Japan now is doing uh, bentos 